You are serving a God who changes situations. You are not a right off. You are not a failure. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Victory is yours on earth today. By spiritual birth, you are qualified for a life of much more. So what you say is what you make. If you speak grace, you experience grace. You speak disaster, you experience disaster. You speak doom, you experience doom. You speak love, you receive love. So what you express is what you experience. Welcome to the Hilltop International Christian Center. Here, miracles happen every day. Prayer is our lifestyle. Where true worshipers gather to seek God. Where dance of victory. and the celebration of God's faithfulness. What joyous expressions. Here, you will encounter God. Join us at the Hilltop International Christian Center for our three Power Park services every Sunday 7.30 a.m. business service, 9 a.m. miracle service, and 11 a.m. celebration service, and our leadership and communion service every Wednesday by 5.30 p.m. You can also watch us live online at www.hicc.tv. Hilltop International Christian Center, raising leaders, modeling Christ. of your children in the name of Jesus 
thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Please congratulate three people and then you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. This period, we are going to be breaking barriers. Can you not defend it by saying, say, no more limits? Come on, say, say, no more limits. In this season of breaking barriers, I'm going to take my first subtitle in this series, Going Beyond Your Limitations. Barriers must break. So we are going to do an introduction and then we'll begin to build up on it in subsequent weeks. Hallelujah. This service is for someone who has been waiting for a long time to see a change happen. And today you are in the right place at the right time. To meet the right God who will turn things around in your favor. If you believe it, lift your voice and say, I'm that person. What is a limitation? A limitation is a boundary, a border, a barrier. A place where a line has been drawn. A line is drawn there. Saying, don't cross it. A limitation is a restriction. A no-go zone. Don't enter there. But who said? A limitation... Thirdly, is a final point where you are told how far you can go. A limitation is a statement that says, this is as far as you can go. You can't do more. You can't be more. You can't achieve more. You can't rise beyond it. A limitation is a law that defines how you must behave. And that determines where you cannot exceed. And finally, a limitation is a program that confines you to a certain cycle of existence. Do I still have your attention? Generally, there are two kinds of limitations. Generally, I've, just, I've defined limitations now. There are generally two kinds of limitations. There are positive limitations and there are negative limitations limitations. Now, what is a positive limitation? A positive limitation is a preservative limitation that is set to prevent you from destroying yourself. A positive limitation is what? A preservative limitation that is set to prevent you from destroying yourself. For instance, speed limit is a positive limitation. Your car speedometer is reading 260. That means the car can drive 260 kilometers in one hour. But you have no license to do it. There is a law saying 120. And that law is not to prevent you from enjoying your car. That law is to preserve your life. Moral limitations are positive limitations. Don't steal is a moral limitation. Ethical limitations. Thou shalt not commit adultery. It's a limitation, but it's supposed to preserve you. Don't commit incest. It's a limitation because if you commit incest, the Bible says... The curse would be on your lineage for nine generations. It's a limitation, but it's a positive limitation. Thou shalt not kill. Because when you shed blood, the blood will be crying against you. It's a limitation, but it's a positive limitation. Thou shalt not kill. So the Ten Commandments are positive limitations. Thou shalt not kill covet your brother's property or your neighbor's property. Don't steal another man's land. It's a positive limitation because if you do it, the scripture says, you bring a curse upon your lineage. 
There are legal limitations. I mentioned one of them. Don't steal another person's land. It's to protect you and preserve you. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 8, the Bible says, He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. And whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. What is that hedge? That hedge is a boundary. That hedge is a barrier. That hedge is a limitation. But it's a positive one. Because it says, if you break the hedge, then you open the door for the serpent to come in and to bite. That tells us, until the hedge is broken, the serpent cannot come in. Why is the hedge there? Is it to prevent you from having a good time? No, it's to prevent the serpent from coming in. So that's a positive limitation. So this limitation is a fence. When you break it, then the enemy can have the access to trespass and come into your territory. in need of change? Have you tried doing something lately to have that change? Have you been trying and failing? It is time to read the book, Breaking Beyond the Growth Barrier, written by Rev. Chris Oari. This book will enable you to discover how to identify and pursue your God-given purpose, how to enjoy God's provisions, and how to break through and break beyond life's growth barriers. You can place your orders by calling the numbers on the screen 080-318-26712 Breaking Beyond the Growth Barrier A must read for a life transforming experience You can't do everything you feel like doing in life. If you do some things, you will do it to your own detriment, to your own harm, and to your own destruction. If you violate these restrictions and these limitations, law enforcement will come and catch up with you. The reason we have law enforcement is to compel people to live within the boundaries of limitation. So that we can have a civil society. Amen. But there are also negative limitations. Limitations that are set to prevent you from achievement. They are negative. Such as gender limitations. A society that is skewed towards the male. There's an advantage for the male. They call it male chauvinism. It works against women. Or vice versa. You know that in school, a lot of times, girls outperform boys. I hope you know that. Mind, there were some girls in those days in school. When the result sheet comes out, the boys are far behind. But there's something in society that is telling them, that since you don't have a male organ, you can't achieve much in life. You say it's a man's world. That's a limitation. And that devil is a liar. You can become who God says you can become. You can achieve who, what God says you can achieve. Is somebody in this house listening? There are certain limitations. If you are born from a certain tribe, you are despised. There's a state in this country where the governor of the state rose up against a certain limitation in his, in his tribe and began to give young people in that state free education because what they were known for is house boy and house girl. So if you are, if you are from that state, they'll say, ah, after all, Okon. If Okon is not Megad, Okon is houseboy, or Okon is a driver, 
or Okonis. The man rose up and said, free education. Anywhere you are, come back home. You have free education. He was confronting a limitation. <laughs> there was a time, there was a certain tribe in this state. You see their young people all over, the, all over town. They'll carry a little wooden box on their head. Granite and corn. And they'll be tapping it. Pa, 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 pa. Granite and corn. Pa, pa, pa. They are from a, they're usually from a certain tribe in this state. But some of the most stable and some of the most intelligent people I know in this country are from that tribe. I'm talking about the Ogonis. Men and women of stability, fortitude, strength, tough. But there was a time someone rose up and banned that thing and said it won't happen in River State anymore. If I catch any child carrying box on their head, whoever sent him is in trouble. So he stopped and those boys started going back to school. That was a limitation. These limitations exist. They are in the air. But I came to announce to you this morning that my Jesus is a master at breaking limitations. He's a master at crushing limitations. And you will exceed the line that the enemy has drawn for you. In the name of Jesus. Limitations can be based on age. Or academics. Or even the failure of others. What makes you think you can do it? Your father tried it and it didn't work. What makes you think you can do it? Your ancestors attempted but it didn't work. You know Jesus said something in John 14 from verse 12. He said whatsoever you shall demand in my name. He said, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And then he went on in verse 14 to say, that whatever, whoever believes in me, the works that I do shall he do, and greater works than this. In other words, you will break my record. You will exceed the fence that I put down. You will cross my line. You will do more than I have done. Jesus is not threatened when you do more. In fact, he expects us to do more. And the character of God again is unveiled in his response to Elijah's behavior when Elijah said, I want a double portion of your anointing. Nobody has ever asked that, but God answered that prayer. Elijah had one portion. But Elisha said, I want that portion, but I want double. And Elijah told him, you have asked the hard thing, but it is possible. Entering the next level may be difficult, but it is possible. Is somebody in this house listening? Making more money than you have ever made, it may be difficult, but it is possible. Winning more souls may be difficult, but it is possible. Getting people healed may be difficult, but it is possible. Whatever it is that is on the other side of the fence that God has promised you, it may appear difficult, but it is not impossible. You can get there. Tell the person by your side, it is possible. You can pass that examination. Can somebody say amen? amen. The failure of others does not sentence you to failure. Your family pedigree may be a disadvantage, but you can exceed their limitations. Can somebody say amen? Lift up your right hand and say, my father, break my barriers in the name of Jesus. Let every barrier that is against my progress break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 1. God was speaking to this young man, Zechariah, who was to build Jerusalem. And verse 1 of chapter 2 says, I lifted up my eyes again and looked, and behold, a man with 
a measuring line in his hand. Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him. Now, two angels were now conversing over this matter. Verse 4. And said unto him, Run! Speak to this young man. Thank you, Jesus. Saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls. For the multitude of men and cattle therein, for I say it, the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and I will be the glory in the midst of her. The young man looked at Jerusalem. It was in ruins. They had been conquered for so long that there was nothing comely, nothing beautiful, nothing attractive about Jerusalem. The city was in ruins. The walls shattered. The temple broken. And it, was, it, it appeared to be an impossible task. So what, where do I begin from? You turn to the right, you see limitations. You turn to the left, you see impossibilities. You look before you, obstacles. You look behind, challenges. The man was literally confused. Then, God gave him a vision. A measuring line. To measure Jerusalem. This was a vision of Zechariah. This young man carrying a measuring tape in his hands. Now, The space that was given to them to build by the law of the conquering nation was very small. I'm tapping into the historical facts now. Very small. That is why he took the measuring line to go and measure. Okay, this is where they said we'll get to. You can't be this, build this side of town. Don't get to Rumokoro. Just remain at Rumokalagbo. All right? Don't enter Lekaya. Stay at Rumokalagbo. The boundaries is oro, oro. If you go beyond the oro, you are in trouble. So take your tape, measure, measure. You, you must not earn more than two hundred thousand, because any time you go beyond two hundred thousand, you are coming down. It's a measuring line. You know there are some people. It's okay if all they have is one hundred thousand. But the day they make 120, all hell will break loose. There's an invisible limitation. There's a stabilizing force that has said you can't exit. You cross this line, you are in trouble. As long as they are within the periphery of that boundary, everything seems to be appearing well. But once they make up their mind to break out, there's a limitation. And it begins to operate against them. But today, the Jesus that the grave could not stop is the same Jesus who is now living on your inside. That line, God will erase it. I said that line, your God will erase it. I said that line, your God will erase it. That wall, your God will break it down. What they said you cannot do, you will do it. You will accomplish it in the name of Jesus. Is someone listening to me? God said, I will be the glory in the midst of heaven. Although what you see today of Jerusalem is small and you have been told you can't go beyond this periphery. Take that your measuring line. Keep it aside. In life, there are different forms of measurement and it's very important you are careful who or what is measuring you because somebody is going to measure you and define your limits by their own parameters or assessments. Don't allow age to limit you. It's a kind of measurement. People feel that you are too young to succeed. Is that this, this young girl, what makes you think that are your mates here? 
That is why you are there. To break records. To break records. The Jesus who died for you died at 33 and a half years. But he saved the whole of humanity till today. 33 and a half years, handsome, promotious, bubbling, exciting, likable, welcomable, empowered young man with hot, fresh, divine blood. Someone sees you and says, ah, is this not? Because he knew you 10 years ago. He's still looking at you based on what he knew 10 years ago, but in 10 years, many things have happened now. You may have known me and seen me as poor, but the story has changed. You may have known me and seen me as sick, but the story has changed. You may have known me and seen me as intimidated and fearful, but the story has changed. Order for this message, please request for the message number above. You can also request for other messages by Reverend Chris Oare when you call 084-779-290-0803-182-6714-0803-182-6712 or 0803-182-6702. For more details about Reverend Chris Oare, the Hilltop International Christian Center, and other products and programs, please visit our website www.hilltopinternational.org. Thank you.